so yeah hi everyone okay so from this video we will start uh, writing our project so firstly what we will do we will uh, try to create our backend so let's start to create first our flutter project so what the command for that flutter create our project name youtube portfolio okay youtube portfolio app it will create our project basic project flutter project inside this project what we will do we will create one more folder that would be a backend where we will write our node part and see how we will create a trad api for our project fine okay fine so let's uh, redirect our backend repository directory cd okay there is no directory why this is because we have to redirect first our main project to portfolio and then we can redirect our backend so what are the key requirement to write our backend is that so firstly we need to install a node.js so we go on node.js.organization and download the node according to your platform and then you have to install mysql we will use mysql for our local database so go on this website developer.mysql.com and install this according to your system and then we will use exam so down, you can download this also so once you downloaded these three things we will go to write our backend part so let's let's start writing our backend part okay fine now once you have installed all these those things so let's say uh, initialize npm in our project so we are on backend uh, directory so we, what we will do we will write a command npm in it so basically npm is a package manager which will initialize the default packages what, what we want to use on an application let's suppose in like in flutter if you are using building on some project and let's say you are working on a google authentifier base then you need to work some kind of uh, with some kind of a package so you you use to pubstack.ml and use pubstack.get to add that dependency like that only in node you have to use npm to install any third party packages which we can use inside our application so what we are doing we are initializing our npm our uh, backend part so what we will do this will ask a bunch of a question so as of now we will Okay, let's name our package name what what we can give uh, let's say it's our youtube portfolio app right in version local level center we will not give any description as of now okay hit enter enter and this will create a default if you check here package json file there are the default things are here like if you compare with your pop stack file there are the name of your default file description and all the version of your project like that only in your go to a package json you will see the name of your project the version description if you want to give the main file the main file would be index.js file where the your app would be start fine so i hope you understand what is the npm initialize part so let's uh, define the folder of our backend we will like, see how we can do this so let's start creating our folders so our first folder would be domain and then we have our controller okay we should have our data part and then also we have our routes routes and what we will do to uh, let's define our main file that would be apps.js okay this would be a file let's delete it it would not folder let's create a file called app.js this would be our initial uh, file which will be run so what we will do we will change the main file here to index.js to app.js fine inside routes let's define our uh, let's create our routes file here where we will define our whole routes which we will use in this project uh, let's name is as project routes.js we are using javascript so extension for this is .js if you use typescript then the extension will be ts okay now inside domain part we will create our new file that uh, new folder that would be entities where we will define our entities whatever we will use inside this project and then we have another folder use cases what action we can perform inside this project so we will define this use cases there entities here now inside data part uh, we have our repository okay let's create a folder here called data source where we will call now the backend method to interact our server data source and we also also have our our repository implementation part mm, repository okay repositories and we should also have our uh, model part product model part you can say okay let's define one more folder called models so okay now let's try to create a new file inside our entities what could be entities inside our project uh, as of now we can think that we should have a one entity that would be our project so let's create a file called project.js project.js okay we have our app file inside route we have one file route and project routes.js in our domain part we have one entity is project.js let's create our first use cases that uh, get get all our get all of our projects so let's name the first use case is as get all projects uh, okay get all project use cases dot js okay and we will define some more use cases in later part but as of now we can think that we should have a one use case that is get all projects okay so let's create our repository here repository project repository let's create a file called project repo get tree okay mention and repository dot dot we will not use abstract plus here and inside model we could have our project model dot js file 
project model dot yes and inside data source let's define our data source file project data source dot js so we define the our architect our folder structure of our project we have only okay we need one thing that is controller this is one of the main part here we will define our controller let's define it create a file called project controller dot js and we could also have a folder called config where we will define the our local host database uh, password environment there in our config file so let's create a config folder inside config we could have uh, one file that is database dot js so that's it so basically what we did uh, we define let's collapse it c1 by 1 okay we have our main project youtube portfolio app this is a flutter project inside flutter project we create a folder called backend where we will write our backend ports here we will use node.js with mysql database fine and we will use javascript except uh, we will not we are not going to use our type script in this project we all use javascript for this project so in our backend we divide we define the uh, folder structure of our project we create a config folder where we will and define our file that is database where we will define all the databases of like where we will define uh, what the host we are going to use what the username of our host now uh, what the port number we are going to use those stuff we will define inside our database.js file then we have our controller file where we will say we define our uh, project controllers here then we have a data inside data we have a data source part models repository okay we mistake it let's make it dot js file we mistakenly keep it as dart file now we have inside domain layer we have entities and use cases inside entities we have one entity as of now that is project in use cases as of now we have one use case and we also have a folder called routes where we will define all the routes for which we, we are going to use on this project and our main file that is app.js where our project would be start fine okay let's create one more file that is environment file where we will define all the environment variable okay so let's try to create it Okay, let's me try to create dot env file here. Okay, dot env. Here we will define all the environment variable here, like what the database host we are using. We will, let, we will give the variable name, whatever we use, and the value of that particular thing. So, the environment variable, this is basically will database saying that we define a variable called database host and we give a value localhost. This will take as a string. So, we will define all those variables here. So, from our upcoming video, we will start writing our code okay okay hi everyone so in this video what we will do we will write our first node app so let's start our first install our first dependency that would be a express we are using to express model to create our api so to add new uh, new dependency on your package you can say you can use a command call npm install and the dependency name in our case we don't want to use our express then you can use npm install express fine okay if you want to some more uh, like in Flutter, you have popped up there in the node there. You have a dependency called np, npm.js.com. Here you will find all the third party dependency which you can use in your project according to your use cases. So you are going to use a uh, this one express module to create our API. Once you hit this command npm install express, this will install a uh, npm package in our project. You can see inside your package.json file, you have one dependency that is express and the version number of this package. Like in popspec.yml, once you install a new package, that dependency is added inside your popspec.yml. Like that only in node part, your dependency is added here. And you have one more file called package log.json file. You can see all the dependency which are required for this project would be could be found here. Like you install package you install express module here in your project. Then your express module could be dependent on some more other modules. So those stuff you can find it here. Like in Flutter, you have two files, popspec.ml, your project dependency would be here. Inside popspec.log, your all the dependency would be here, which are be dependent on this. In this part, I hope you understand. Okay, so let's start our first hello world program. So in Flutter, what we have to do in Flutter or another project, what we could do once we install any dependency, we imported it. Fine, like that, we will in import our express module. Like we will say define a variable called express, and we will say we need a require of this module express. Fine. Once we do that, okay, what we have to do one more thing is that. You have to start your server, local server. So for starting that, what you can do, uh, open your exam app and then go to your application or there would be many server. You can start your all server from here and then come on welcome tab and now tap on go to application here. And now you can tap on PHP my admin. This will open your local host and will start your server locally. Fine. Once you do that, you complete that step. We will start. See here in that workflow. What we are doing? We are uh, we are calling our express model here. Now we have our express. Let's get it off. Or file it 
import this module const express now we will import data of database express module okay so let's what we have to do next okay we want listen app uh, uh, to listen our application on but on a particular port number app dot listen and here we will define the port number let's say we want to listen our application on this port number 400 fine the next thing is what okay let's try to okay let's try to add a print statement here console log hello world fine now one more thing is that we will start uh, one more dependency that would be nodeman to start our application npm install nodeman this uh, the, the main advantage of using nodeman is that we do not need to restart again and again to change uh, to see the changes what the changes we did in our project once you install this nodeman library this will be added inside our json file and now you can use the nodeman command to start our project you can use nodeman nodeman start okay this will start our project you can see that error const express is equal to this one add in express has already been declared okay you can see here okay we have to use app here or whatever the name we want to call our dependence okay because we can't name the same variable two times okay let's see once you save it your node one will be run and you can see we have hello world in our terminal so let's see what we have on our here we have our local host active on 4000 port number but we do not have any api so let's add our first api that is that let's add a method in our express app app dot get method and the path would be initial we do not give any variable there and then there are two uh, one other element is request and response what we will do we will send response response dot send hello what do we want to print this in our browser so we have our express app here in express as we are using our get method the route of our get method is simple our in uh, you can say base url is we are not using any variable so this would be our local host only and now we are we do not need to use a request parameter so we have a two parameter required and response and we are saying that simply show the hello world in our browser so let's see what is there now you can see our hello world is printed over here so from next video we will start see implementing the actual part of our code so i hope the basic part is clear so from the next part we will start writing our entities our controller our major stuff of our project so that's it for this